Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to capture PS4 or PS4 Pro game footage without a capture card whatsoever. If you didn't know, you can actually record up to 60 minutes of video on the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4 Pro. Okay, from your PlayStation Home, I want you to go up to, and navigate all the way to the right to the settings icon. Then you're going to scroll down, you're going to look for that sharing and broadcast button or menu item. From here, you're going to go to the top one. I want you to set your settings to easy screenshot. So you can do a press of the share button one time to get screenshot. Press and hold to display the menu and double tap it twice to actually start the video and stop the video. Next, we're going to go in and actually select the length of time you want to, you want to actually record. So go to length of video clip and you can set this for whatever you want, depending on how much hard disk space you have left. But for this example here, I'm actually going to do a one minute clip here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now I'm going to go ahead and navigate back and go into Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. And what I'm going to do is double click or double press that share button. The top left corner, you're going to see this actually going to start recording. I really don't want to play much of this game because I haven't started yet. But I'll show you the first little bit of it here just to, so I can actually record one minute. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward from here. And once I get to the one minute mark, the PlayStation is going to tell me that the recording is over and it's going to save it into the file section. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit the PlayStation menu button on your controller. And we're going to navigate to the folder icon over there and go into the capture gallery. And I'm going to go ahead and select all. Now I'm going to hit the options button on the right side of the controller. I'm going to go to copy to USB. And what I'll do is I'll just select everything here. So hit the select all. But you can go in and individually select which ones you want. Then you hit copy and then you hit OK. And it'll copy everything you selected from the USB thumb drive you have plugged into your PlayStation. And after that, you can grab that thumb drive and plug it into your computer and import it into your favorite video editing software. For example, I'm on the Mac, so I like using iMovie and Final Cut Pro. But if you're on a PC, I'd recommend getting uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is a free pro level editing software that you can use. And that's it. That's pretty much it. I want to thank everybody for watching. As usual, don't forget peace and aloha, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.